Alrighty guys, what is going on all you beautiful people? It's Big E. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our Hardcore Warlock Challenge. This is Lucius. This is his little demon companion Garnip. We are hanging out here by the bridge. We've got Guard Thomas, I believe his name is over here. Happy Halloween week. It is pretty close to Halloween. Hope you guys are in the spirit. You guys are going to go get some junk food one way or another. You might be too old to trick or treat. If you've got kids, steal it from your kids. Remember, you can always say, I have to test this candy to make sure it's safe to eat. You can always use that, dads out there. Anyway, guys, tracking a couple of quests. We got red linen goods. We have to go over here to this island right here. Collect some goods for the lady up here. She uh, said she'll make me something nice if I uh, if I murder people. Seems like a very sweet thing to do. We also have a quest to come up here by the Murlocs right up in this area and discover the other... Uh, we have to figure out what happened to Rolf, I believe. We discovered what happened to one of the adventurers. And what we discovered was he was eaten by a bear or a wolf and his carcass was picked clean <laughs> anyway let's go do this boys i'll have the role i uh, probably had the rules or will have the rules on the screen temporarily i'm not going to go over all of them again but uh they're pretty straightforward i covered them in the first uh what episode number is this this is probably going to be episode seven i cur i covered them in the first Six. This actually might be episode eight. I don't know. I always get confused there. Let's put our demon armor up. And we're going to chuck... Uh, let's put... We'll also put a... Uh, uh, this thing up. We made these. Or they were a quest reward, actually. So we are allowed to use them. We are currently level nine. There's a murloc. Let's start right in got my own little ranking system I came up with just for fun. We are currently at the rank of a trickster. Every five levels we get a new rank. We start as a Wiccan. Gonna pass on the seashell. Murlocs are no joke at this low level. And that was a resist. But I want that dot up so let's try it again. They will run off. They will try to heal themselves. They are a pain. Do a little melee while our, while our uh, dots work here. There we go. Take that. Hello, cow. Da, 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 da. It is a Wednesday night for me. I'm wide awake. Got back from the gym. Still on my crazy night shift. My graveyard schedule. Oh, God. Um, the imp's dead. Oh, my God. All right. We're just gone. I've got a health pot. What I can't do is run into wolves or bears. Where's the health pot? Health pot? Health pot? Oh, oh no. Please, no. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We're okay. Okay. The Murlocs have fucked off. Let's see if this wolf will piss off. Go on. Okay, that was really damn close. We were we got down to 11 health. So let me go over here. And um, did I... I didn't shit my pants. Fortunately. Just, I just had to check. Ah. <laughs> Fuck, man. All right, we still have health pots left. I almost could not find this. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. Uh, let's get our boy back out here. That was way too close, man. 
This health pot needs to be... I'm going to put the health pot here. This needs to be somewhere where I can easily get to it. In fact, I'm going to do it like this. And I'll try not to accidentally click on that. Should be all right. Should not. I, I did not like that. A little too confident. It's not even that I was confident. I just was not paying attention to my surroundings. This is uh, why uh, Murlocs are bad news. Well, this particular area, they've got, you've got pats that kind of walk around. They're easy to aggro. Um, I'm not going to mess with that wolf right now. But it, it is a good idea to clear out in case I need to run. That health pot saved us. Hands down, no questions asked. It must have been... I guess maybe we're just too close to this guy? I don't even... I don't think I even got the one down that I was um, engaged with there. Alright, I don't want to pull more than one. Let me see if I can get this guy. This actually might be two. The good thing is, I don't think there's any casters right here. That's a resist. This needs to be like that. Okay. Yeah, you can keep your shiny seashell. So this is what we need. The problem is, you can't just run over and click on it. It's, you know, you've got to go through the animation where it takes, I don't know, it's like 10 seconds to click on it or something. Um... I think there, yeah, there's two. I think there's two right here. We got one, two, and then three. So these are gonna be a problem. What I need to be able to do is just pull this guy. I just got two. I feel okay with two. I mean, not really. Let's see if we can just get one down. The imp's going to die, probably. We're getting destroyed. Health pot. Let's see if my... my. Uh... Okay, he's dead. This is probably stupid. Oh. Oh, my imp is still alive? Oh my god, we're dead. I just fucked up. I've already used the health pot. Can I get away? We got away. We got away again at 12 health. Go, Imp, go. Go, Imp. Uh, no dots. We're going back. If I cannot aggro anything else, I can dot him up. Oh, he's running off. He reset. Okay. Oh my god, dudes. I'm playing with fire right here. This is not... I've got no food. I need to get some food. The good news is we just have the one... We just have one now, I think. I thought the imp had died. He came back. Or he had just run out of mana and he lost aggro, so they were just on me. Where's the other one that I was targeting? It's right there. We somehow did not pull that. I don't understand how that happens. What I'm going to do here, let's get max range. I'm going to start him in. This will be off a of CD. See if we can just burn this thing down. We got both of them. Is he coming for me? He is coming for me. He's going to die. Get on this one. Oh, those resists are absolutely brutal, man. Oh, fuck you. Seriously, man. We just had a pat just come out of nowhere. The imp's dead. We got to reset this again. God, I hate Murlocs so much, man. <laughs> I fucking hate them. All right, we would have been okay there, but, well, you saw. 
I guess one of these things respawned. I also have to be careful to make sure there's not a bear or a wolf that's going to come up behind us. Yeah, this little bastard. Yeah, he's just respawned. He's just come back. This is the problem with this area at this level. I mean, as a cloth caster, right? Our spells just take so long to ramp up. And like this, if they get resisted, that's it's 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 rough. Do we still have the two or did we get one down? We got one down. All right, this music's driving me a little bit fucking crazy right here. Oh my god, dude. For fuck's sake, man. I'm not giving up on this. I I feel like now I, we have to finish this. The respawn rate is brutal, though. I need more mana. He just did a little... Did you hear that? I don't know if you guys heard or saw that, but he just drank a little health potion there. It's pretty damn annoying. Um, Alright, let's mana up. I don't really have any way to heal myself. I could, I could get life tap, but... I guess what I should do is get life tap, stock up on spring water, get life tap, and just use it, obviously, not in combat, to where I can tap up some uh, mana, or tap up some life from mana, and then just replenish the mana. All right. Get this little bastard down. We'll click on the thing, and then we're going to get the hell out of here before this stuff respawns. Go ahead and die. I need a Go ahead and die in a big way. Oh no. A complete accept. Get out. Was he level six? Actually, uh I think he was level six. It popped up, but I wasn't paying attention. I mean I was paying attention, but I was too busy walk watching that pat. All right, so we need to go across the water, so we're going to come around this way. Boy, man, what is that, three close calls here? That's <laughs> not good. Not good. I'm okay with the things over here. I don't think there are any pats. I think they're, for the most part, stationary. And they are also casters. So we should be able to get them down. All right, and we only need six pieces of... That spell is uh, oh, we need bandanas is what we're actually looking for. We might have somebody in the area. I think there's usually, there's usually another one here. I guess it's this guy, though. Okay. Get max range. Don't speak your demon tongue to me. Demon. Yeah. Much rather deal with caster on caster here. Um, we'll just pick up all this stuff for now, and we can use that food. Because it dropped off a mob, and we need it because we have none. I also need to get some, um... I need to focus on cooking to cook some things up for us, or... I guess I could buy some stuff. I really don't like buying things, though. Not at this level. We don't have the money for it. But cooking, you can, uh, you know... Like, we've got a bunch of stringy wolf meat, and there is a recipe... That doesn't require any other ingredients, I don't think, and we can make a little teeny uh, little buff food for ourselves. I guess there's nobody else here. Thought there was a mob. Uh, that was missing there. Sounds a little bit like the Halloween theme there, that piano part.
I don't know how many Halloween movies there are now. Like 10, 12, I don't know. I've seen the original Halloween and uh, I've not been interested in the rest. Those are early uh, horror movies. Uh, when did that come out? I don't think it was 70s, but it's got a 70s feel to it. I, th I have a feeling it was the early 80s. Um, but I'm not sure. But I saw it uh, as a preteen or teenager. Either in the very, very late 70s or the uh, early 80s. Probably the early 80s is when it happened. Along with Friday the 13th, all those movies. They're, they're pretty damn goofy, you know? <laughs> but they, uh, I don't know. They've just got a, they've got a good feel to them. They're hard to watch a, as an adult, you know? Most movies are. You see a movie as a kid, it seems really scary or intense, and then you watch it as an adult, and it's like, it's almost comedic. <laughs> The characters put themselves in the most ridiculous situations and positions, you know? <laughs> they do not act like somebody would act in real life. That is what usually, as an adult, that's what turns me off these days from uh, watching something. If the character's dialogue is just doesn't seem natural, or the reaction is just ridiculous, I, I'm out. I just can't do it. Cannot do it. Makes a big difference. Good writing seems to be few and uh, far between these days. So the last kind of scary movie that I saw, and when I say scary, I'm not talking about jump scares and blood and guts. That's, I think that's for a very younger type of audience or a specific kind of audience. It's not my thing, man. I. It's just annoying, basically. Like, it's because it's just the same thing over and over and over, and it's very obvious when it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I like uh, atmospheric, you know, where you've got just, it's just a really creepy vibe. It doesn't have to be a monster on the screen for it to be scary. Like, I like kind of like psychological type of horror to me is much, much better. But the last creepy thing I saw was a movie called The Witch. Or maybe just be, be called Witch. Not enough mana. I thought it was really well done. I think it takes place in the uh, 15th or 16th century. Not the 15th century. Uh, 1600s, like late 1600s or early 1700s, I would guess. Not 100% sure. It might be earlier than that. But it's a fairly recent movie. It came out a couple of years ago or so. Very young uh, actress in it. But uh, she's very good. But I, all of the uh, actors in that movie uh, did an amazing job. Um, fuck, we only have one more of these. We, we just need two more. Let's go ahead and mana up here, I suppose. I do, have, I've got to buy some stuff off of a vendor. And I probably am going to get life tap. Uh, we could hit level 10 with the rest of these NPCs and the quest turn in. Which would mean we'll get a talent. Uh, we'll be, we'll have access to talents and we can, um, I think I am going to get life tap to use after a battle. Because then we just basically need to have mana. Uh, mana. We just need to have waters on us. And I'll do cooking just to get us a little health buff. I'm going to start him well in advance. So he should draw the first bolt. Oh, he actually didn't. Oh, there, there she goes. She go down. All right, we just need one more. 
Just let him get his mana back up and his health, and I'll get a few ticks of mine. We've got a decent mana regeneration. Well, I mean, it's because we're such a low level, right? It seems like it's good, but it's, it's basically how it's always going to be. What if that slows my casting speed? No, just movement speed. Oh. Hello? What's this? Westfall Deed. Let's see what this is about. This is the deed to an expanse of farmlands within Westfall. It is signed by a Theodore Furlbrow and co-signed by his wife, Verna. And on the back of the deed are hastily scrawled words. We learn... Uh, we leaned on Furlbrow and got his deed, though it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these uh, for your own place. Okay. The Furlbrows won't give us trouble. Last I saw them, they were on their way out of Westfall, stuck with a broken wagon. So these are the two NPCs you see when you first go into Westfall. They've got a horse named Blanche. Uh, bring the deed to Farmer Furlbrow. Okay. I've got a couple of low-level food items, but we'll do that. All right, let's uh, let's get this, let's get her down. Hopefully, we get lucky and she's got our last bandana. But if not, it's no big deal because we're getting XP. We're getting closer to level ten. Yeah, we boy, those were two really close calls. Like 11 health the first time and 12 health the second time. I mean, that's basically one more hit and we would have been done. And I also, uh, I got lucky we didn't run. I mean, we did aggro. I think we aggroed a wolf that one time, but we did get a little bit fortunate there. That that could have been the end. I thought it was, I thought we were done. I thought that was the end of the uh, let's play, which but would have been really disappointing. I really have to be... I, ju I just need not to do quests like this because I know the quest. I know um, basically quests from levels 1 through 30. I basically know all of them with the exception of the Blood Elf. Uh, I've not really played Blood Elf just because of cosmetic reasons. I can't stand the way they look. <laughs> I know that's shallow, but I don't care. But I am going to be doing Blood Elf. I will be doing a Blood Elf Let's Play. Not sure um, which... Uh, class, but um, what was my point? I can't remember. Yeah, oh, I should just, I really need to just not do things that I know are risky. I need to not do it. It's just oh no, fake knives, level 11. He was in Lock Madon at level 11? That's pretty ballsy, man. That's pretty uh, pretty ballsy, my man. Where the hell am I going? We're going over here. I hope the music isn't too loud. It probably you is. Know? I'm running. Yes, I know you're running low. I uh, took care of them for you. Ah, these are nice bandanas. If a little rough, here you are. We got a red linen shirt and a uh, red linen sash. Farewell. Farewell. It's not garbage, but uh, are we wearing a shirt currently? Yeah, we made this ourselves. Let's just see what this looks like. It looks like a red linen shirt. Yeah, we'll rock this for a bit, boys. Looking pretty stylish, I gotta say. Let's go sell some stuff. Everything that we fought was a humanoid. Actual human or murloc. The wolves didn't drop any... Uh, any gear items, which we cannot use. So we're going to go sell this. Oh, we're going to kill one more thing. Uh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to go kill uh, one more thing and hit level 10. I supply only the finest goods. Good, because I'm only looking for the finest. Don't even talk to me unless you've got the finest goods. Can't wear those. So we're going to sell them. Uh, we need to up our uh, melee game a little bit here because we are, until we get our Void Walker, we're going to be doing a lot of melee. But we might get the Void Walker at level 10. I'm actually not sure. I'm going to hold on to this staff. I'm going to hold on to it for right now. 
That does 2.5. Yeah, I'm going to sell the sword. Hold on to the staff. We may as well sell that. Small spider legs. Um, this isn't even on the bar, is it? It's not. We've got our... Oh, I don't have my marbles on the bar. Let's put this down here. I've kind of forgotten about this. Actually, you know what? Sell that. I'm going to hang on to the marbles. I think I need to add another bar here, and I probably will. Yeah, we're going to hang on to the marbles. It seems like uh, it's a good thing. Also, I need to switch this. Man, those are our big ones. I'm going to hang on to these little ones because something is better than nothing. And I think we're okay for the rest of this stuff. Do a little repair. Safe travel. Yeah, hold on, guys. Turn it down a little bit for you. How are we doing on time? Yeah, about 25 minutes in. Okay, let's kill a... Uh, we got to run back to Goldshire. Uh, let's go turn these two things in. We'll turn this into uh, uh, Guard Thomas, and then we'll go back to Goldshire. We can turn this quest definitely at level 10. And uh, there is a Warlock Trainer in the basement we've discovered. How close are we? Wait, can I make a... Wait, 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 wait. Did I learn to make bags? I th isn't it at level 45? How are you? Yes, it is. Give me See that. Boy, almost forgot about that. We can make one. Do it. Give me that. Yes, sir. It's just a little six slaughter, but you know what? We love six slaughters. We're going to change those. And uh, yes, now we've got a little bit more room. And let's uh, let's move our ingredients up here. I like to keep my bags straight. Looks like uh, let's restart this. Yeah. Um, we'll put the potions up there. I'm going to sell that. Uh, put our potions up here. Quest items we'll keep down there. More spider parts. I'm going to hang on to the staff. We got our food on the bar. Yes, we do. Put it up there. Linen cloth. And these are quest items. Uh, and we'll sell that. Okay. Very nice. And what is this? What's the what we're wearing? Okay, that's pretty dang huge. A little bit of extra space. Six slots. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's big at this level. So we will get the uh, we'll hit level ten with this uh, quest turn in. Might do a little fast forward run back to Goldshire. Alrighty. Well met. Well met. Have you discovered the fate of Rolf and Malachi? I have. You have confirmed my fears, Lucius. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. I agree. Honor, Kill them all. Tell Marshal Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's death and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. Um, I didn't see any troops. There's nobody over there, sir. It's just me. Uh, I know why we don't have many troops. To sp I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Doug and Kind uh, find someone. Report to him in Goldshire Alliance. for the Horde. <laughs> All right, boys, that's a talent point. Let's see what we're going to do here. Um, I do not give a crap about min-maxing and what's the best. Uh, I always, whenever I'm playing a character, it doesn't matter what character it is. I always choose talents that just feel good for me and my play style. So uh, I may be different trees, you know. I just, I don't care what everybody else does. I like playing the way that feels good for me and the way that helps me the soonest, basically. So this hardcore challenge, I'm going to want to have something that increases our spell power or, you know, some our damage or survivability. So let's have a look here. And I may play a character, you know, like I three different hunters, I may play different ways, so. Reduces the chance for enemies to resist your affliction by 2%. That that stuff does seem good, but I need something a little more offensive. Reduces the casting time of corruption by 0.4 seconds. Yeah, I don't... 
Uh, this is something I have not addressed yet. I'm not going to allow health stones. Am I? I'm not allowing soul stones because that resurrects you. I don't know. I've got to think about that. I don't think I would. I don't think I'm going to allow those. I don't know. Maybe. I've, I'm going to have to think about that. It's allowed in the uh, the hardcore challenge I'm doing for the guild, but I've kind of make I've made it a little bit tougher than what they have. I've kind of got my own spin on it. Um, increases your total stamina by three percent, but it reduces our spirit by one. I generally don't like things that work against each other like that, but it would be nice to have that's uh, th uh, thirty extra health, and we can get five ranks of that. So, uh, what's that? That'd be 15%. That'd be 150 extra HP if we max that out. Increase the effect of your imp's firebolt, fire shield, and blood pack spells by 10%. This seems pretty good. Because this increases our stamina by 2, which is 20 extra health. Let me look at destruction here. Your shadow bolt critical strikes increase shadow damage dealt to the target by 4% until 4 non-periodic damage sources are applied. This seems pretty good. Reduces the mana cost of spells by 1%. So it's a toss-up between Improved Shadow Bolt or the Imp. 10%, 4%. I think I'm going to choose the Imp thing here. Um, so I wonder if this will go up to 30%. It may. Can't do anything with Void Walker until we get... We need five points here. I think I am going to spec in this tree because I do want our Void Walker is going to be our basically our main pet because it's going to be a tank. So I'm going to choose this. We'll do that. And... Um, let me... Okay, can't get rid of it. I guess it's just working. Um, anyway, guys, we're going to do a little bit of fast forwarding here. Um, we'll do like a little cinematic mode. I will see you guys in Goldshire. <laughs>we still got a wolf chasing us there we go what can i do all righty i think we got both of these done here kobolds at the jasper load mine you say curses the situation is worsening by the minute thank you for your report lucius but i wish that the news you brought was good news it's not uh we also have this this news is troubling already our defenses are stretched thin and losing rolf and malachi to those murlocs put us in an even worse position Okay. Well, it could have been also wolves or bears. I don't know. Uh, if things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by the ends, by the week's end. Good reading. Cloth and leather armor. What is this? For your shrewdness and valor, I have uh, a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberland. The East Vale logging camp, dude. I just came from there. Um, yeah. Actually, no. Light bless you. No, light doesn't bless me. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not running all the way back there for uh, a cloth, a slight cloth upgrade. I don't think it goes anywhere else. Anyway, boys, let's go train up here. Who's this guy? What can I do for you? Gakin summons. Isn't that how it always works? I, you shouldn't open up with a question. Uh... Was looking for you all day and couldn't find you. Now I'm not expecting you. I'm not expecting it. You come and walk right up to me. What is this guy talking about? I've wasted enough time trying to find you, so I won't delay you any longer. Master Gakin summoned you for additional training. Seems to me you should seek him out as soon as possible. You'll find him in the basement of the Slaughtered Lamb Tavern. By the way, you might want to keep that particular location quiet. Don't want word spreading about. 
Okay, well, they got a big sign right out front that says Slaughtered Lamb. See you later. Okay, that must be my, um, uh, my... Greetings. The big blue thing. All right, boys, let's see. What do we got here? Emulate rank two, give it to me. Demon skin rank two, give it to me. Drain soul. Drains the soul of the target, causing 55 shadow damage over 15 seconds. If the target dies while being drained and yields experience or honor, the caster gains a soul shard. Soul shards are required for other spells. Yeah, they're required to summon the um, the Void Walker and also make our health stones if I'm going to allow those. I don't see why I wouldn't allow them. I'm trying to RP it a little bit, and we are a magic user, and you can use things that you create. Obviously, the soul stone doesn't work because you're, you know, that doesn't count. That counts as a death, but I might allow um, the health stone. But uh, we're going to pick that up. Great health stone miner. I think I'm going to allow life tap. I think I'm going to get this. Converts 24 health into mana. Am I going to get this? I mean, this is really good for, you know, if you're in a party and raiding, dungeoning or something, it's a quick way uh, to get your mana back up, right? And then if you've got, like, drain life or whatever, you can just restore your health that way. But I, this early on, I still think what I just need to do is buy, either buy or make some food, and uh, we'll just stock up on some waters. I'm going to level three. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, and I think I'm just going to... I'm going to not... This doesn't seem... Decreases the target's damage by three for two minutes. Yeah, it just doesn't seem good enough. So I'm going to not get life tap again right now, but let me check what in can here. I do for you? Can we get anything upgraded? We know that one and we know that one. Can't can't get anything. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. What are we doing on time? About 40 minutes in, but we did have a fast forward part. All right, guys, we're going to go see what's going on in the Slaughtered Lamb basement. I think... Actually, you know what? We'll call it here. We'll save that for next episode. Uh, I'll probably just start the episode up there. Um, yeah. So anyway, for now, we will go ahead and call it here, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us, Mr. Garnip and uh, Mr. Lucius. You guys take care, and we will see you in the next one. It's been fun. It has been fun. Peace. Peace.